It's already winding. You can see the back edge just kind of yeah. pushing through. You should still allow plenty of extra travel time if you have to venture out right now. Or mass transit's the way to go, as Alex mentioned earlier. Upper 60s, low 50, or rather upper 40. What am I saying? Maybe I want upper 60s, upper 40s, low 50s. Oh, I'm channeling that warmer warmth. Uh, upper 40s, low 50s for this afternoon. We'll get rid of the showers, but still a little unsettled. There's always a slight chance of a lingering shower here or there. But by tonight, we dry out partly, mostly clear in some cases. And this is what I'm talking about. You can kind of make out the back edge of it. It's moving from like north or rather south to north. So eventually things will start to really dry out by the afternoon. But we're just going to keep an eye on things. That area of low pressure just steadily moving north and east out of here. But this trough is providing added lift. Whenever you see these dashed lines, that's indicative of that. It means like rising air sometimes leads to more clouds and eventually precipitation. But I'm more concerned about this. This is what we'll get on Saturday, and it looks like midday Saturday is when we anticipate things to really start to fire up. So we dry out for the rest of today. We maybe look out and see some sunshine. And then as we head into tomorrow, it's the peak of the week. It's going to be nice, comfortable, and then it's a precursor for those showers to start off of close to around noon. Interior sections may see a few wet flakes, but as temperatures rise, as a matter of fact, during the pre-dawn hours, yeah, those temperatures are going to go up. It's going to allow for a lot more moisture we're tapping into from the Gulf and then it really starts to get heavy close to around the seven, eight, even nine o'clock hour and then it spreads further north and east. It'll be a widespread event and as you can make out with the brighter colors, especially oranges and reds around Suffolk County, Long Island, that's where we'll see those pockets of heavy downpours that can potentially lead to flooding should dry out during the pre-dawn hours on Sunday, but we anticipate about a half an inch to an inch. Even locally higher amounts are expected, so heavy rain, travel disruptions, flood risk is definitely a possibility. I would not be surprised if some watches and warnings or even advisories get implemented. There's a look at your seven day forecast. So as I mentioned, temperatures rising during the pre-dawn hours and then it's going to fall big time by Monday. That's your Pixel 11 weather forecast, Alex.